Hey everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. And as always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can simply skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. Starting off with Solomon Kane this week, unfortunately the first NPC has not yet arrived from the factory. So that's a big bummer for us because we really want to share it with you this week. But um, I have been assured, however, that as soon as it does show up in the Paris office, Leo will be doing a live unboxing of it without waiting until the next regularly scheduled live video. So be on the lookout for that, as I'm sure we'll be making posts pointing you towards that event when it is to happen. For Reichbusters this week, we wanted to put both links to the French and English errata packs in the same place. We've already made some corrections to the French version, and we are also already on the oversights mentioned in the English one. We are also waiting for more input from the factory, but are aiming to send the files to print within the next couple of weeks. From what we know right now, we should be able to ship the errata packs to you around January or February. We will have a more accurate assessment in the following weeks, so stay tuned to that too. For Super Fantasy Brawl this week, we wanted to announce an online tournament that will run on November 28th, December 5th, and December 12th. All three of those are Saturdays. And we will be announcing on our Discord server and on our various social media outlets when and where signups will go live on Monday, November 16th. Generally speaking, all those who sign up will battle it out on November 28th until we have our top 16. Then on December 5th, those top 16 will duke it out until we have our top 8. And finally, on December 12th, the top 8 will enter the fray until our top 4 emerge victorious. Finals will then be held in order to determine 1st through 4th places, for which prizes will be given. We will also be running another tournament after the holidays, but the dates for those are still yet to be determined. And to accompany this announcement, we wanted to share more of the awesomeness that is Seb Levine with his recent work on Taze from the Force of Nature expansion for Super Fantasy Brawl. You'll find a link to a tutorial from Seb on how he went about painting Taze in the description below. So check it out. For Hell the Last Saga this week, we've had excellent feedback on the player aid that we shared last week. It seems like many of you are using it to play the Tabletop Simulator module, which is great. However, it seems that a file transfer error following a correction made it impossible to download the file in English. So, we've corrected the link, and it can be found in the description below, as well as in the file section of Hell's BGG product page, and in Hell's sub-channel on our Discord server. While we're working to finalize the new version of the rules, we couldn't resist the temptation to, re to reveal some important new gameplay features, so we'll start sharing them each week. In the Characters chapter, as you may have noticed on the player aid, a new role token has been included in addition to the Leader and Scout tokens, the Exalted token. The Exalted token represents the hero who inspires and encourages his companions or the one who's brooding over his frustration as they prepare to make a big move. At the beginning of the scenario, when which roles will be playable are determined during setup, the Exalted token will be given to the hero with the highest will and the lowest rank. Then it will change hands each turn. Its operation is simple. Each time a morale would be spent from the clan board, the exalted character designates which of their companions, or themselves, that will gain this morale and put it on their hero dashboard, instead of simply discarding the morale. From a thematic point of view, this represents the fact that when the collective morale diminishes, individual instincts begin to take over. From a mechanical point of view, it gives the characters more freedom to use their hero cards and familiars. Now, it's worthy of note here that in the latest version of the current rules, food used to deploy familiars can also be paid with morale instead. This means that morale spent from the clan board is recycled when it is later spent by its new owner. It will not penalize the entire group. 
finally, as the exalted one can also designate himself to benefit from this morale gain, this role allows the progressive encouragement of a more individualistic game with certain players, which will prove decisive at the end of the campaign. And finally, for Darkest Dungeons in the board game this week, we wanted to say once again how much we appreciate your support in making Darkest Dungeon the seventh highest Kickstarter campaign ever and the most highly funded board game adaptation of a video game to date. Your passion and zeal for the game showed through in a number of different ways, and we love that we've made this connection. We're all very excited to move forward, and we, of course, want to make the absolute best game that we can. Now, the pledge manager and late pledge availability will be going live in January. The reason it'll take a bit longer than expected is because of the extra work our sculptors will need to do for the things Leo said will be available during the pledge manager. Speaking of which, we wanted to share with you one of the changes that's already been made as a result of your feedback, the new adder sculpt. As you can see in the background, the new adder miniature is much better in size and stance compared to its predecessor shown in the foreground. We certainly hope you like the new sculpt. We've increased its size to be more representative of how it was in the video game, and we also think that it came out very nicely. Now, as we draw closer to January and it becomes clearer when we will be able to launch the late pledge and pledge manager, we will, of course, make that announcement. So stay tuned. And remember that Leo will be live later today at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. But that is it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and hey, we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.